Hey guys, it's Denise from Mission Bound Creations. Today I want to show you how to make this really uh, cool gift. Uh, it is actually ponytail holders and um, what's cool about it is that it's real cheap to make, uh, real quick to make, and it has a lot of uses. Um, the use can be determined by the message that you put in the middle. So you can use this for birthdays or baby showers or um, outreaches, whatever you want to do, uh, you know, you could put happy birthday Susie, whatever, in the middle. And uh, I'm going to show you how quick you can make this. And let me show you your supplies. You need um, some of these, they're the ponytail holders. And uh, as you can see, I got a hundred of them for $2.99. And um, in fact, I got another set uh, of this same for a dollar. For a hundred of them, so each one was a penny. Okay, you need um, buttons that have uh, shanks behind them, um, like this. It it's what is gonna hold the ponytail holder. You can get different sizes. Okay, big, small, doesn't matter. You're gonna need um, something with a point. This happens to be a bead reamer, but you can use what whatever has a point. Just make sure that you don't. Uh, tear up the ponytail holder and you're going to need uh, two sizes of uh, punchers okay these are the ones I like to use but you know you could use whatever works for you one's going to be the back part uh, that you're going to staple and the little one is where you'll put your message and make uh, your message an 8 or a 6 font you're going to need uh, a stapler and uh, these little plastic baggies, actually, they're self-adhesive, clear plastic bags. And I got these 200 for $2 with free shipping on eBay. Um, order them with enough time because they're coming from China. And um, you need some glue, just regular Elmer's glue. And this is how you are going to put your message, okay? So you basically type up your message on an this is an 8 font so you could use a 6 or if your flower is bigger you can use a bigger font and then all you have to do is just basically put it in the middle and cut it out like that okay alright so this is how easy this is you have your ponytail holder make sure that you are aware where this steel part is um, you pinch it on the end like this and um, get it like in the middle of the little shank hole and then just take your puncher and push it in okay and you don't have to push it all the way just enough so that you see a little head of it coming out and then at that point you could grab it from the other side and finish pulling it out like that Okay, and then you're going to take it and you see this, you're going to pull it under that metal and then pull it, okay, and then you kind of just work around it, you're going to have to pull one side maybe more than the other so that it evens out, okay, and once you pull them, there's your ponytail holder, okay? If you're gonna use little ones, um, try to make sure that this, the metal part is not bigger, so measure it, okay? And uh, once you've done that, basically all you do is take your bigger flower and you staple it to the little plastic baggie. Make sure that these little bumpy parts are on the back side and then you glue your message to the front. It's gonna take you maybe two minutes to assemble. Uh, the time that takes you longer is to cut out your flowers and attach your ponytail holders to the button. Um, this little project costs me between 10 and 13 cents a set. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. All right, well, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. God bless.